Dear voters of Potong Pasir and citizens of Singapore, I am Jeanette Chong Eraldos, SPP's candidate for Mountbatten SMC. Thank you. Today, I'm so thrilled to be standing here in Potong Pasir in front of you, Potong Pasir voters. Potong Pasir is the smallest constituency in Singapore, but the biggest representation of democracy. For three decades, Potong Pasir has been an exceptional town, shining forth a light which burns brightly for the whole of Singapore to see. Mention Potong Pase and every Singaporean knows your town. And for some reason, the boundaries of Potong Pase has never changed, even as other constituencies have been swallowed up, eaten, or otherwise disappeared from the face of the map, Potong Pase has remained intact. I cannot explain to you why the powers that be have left Potong Pase intact and undisturbed. You have been allowed to retain your boundaries and your identity, even as other Singaporeans like me have moved from Juchet to Marine Parade without shifting my house. But perhaps it had something to do with Mr. Chum Sitong. Most of the time, he was just one of two opposition MPs in Parliament, and there was even a time that he was the only one. For decades, Mr. Chum Sitong has showed us how an opposition leader should be and why we need opposition MPs in Parliament. How many MPs are able to attract respect from all parties and all supporters across the political divide? The SPP represents a brand of politics that cuts across party lines, that places nation before party and citizens before self. At the SPP's rally in Mountbatten on Sunday, I don't know if some of you might have been there, Dr Tan Cheng Bok, an ex-PAP MP and former presidential candidate, was present on the field. He reached out to shake Mr Cham's hand. Both Dr. Tan Chengbok and Mr. Chum were on opposite sides of the political divide for decades, but they still respected each other as fellow comrades working for the good of Singapore. This is the type of politics Singapore needs. We may wear different party colours, but we play for one Team, Team Singapore. Yeah. And Potong Pasir residents, because of your special place in Singapore's history, you are probably the most courted of all constituencies by the PAP. The PAP has tried to woo you with carrots, upgrading carrots. And what Mr. Go Chok Tong would probably be described as pieces of meat. On August 3rd, 2015, just before campaign period was about to begin, Mr. C2 announced that HDB has given in principle approval for upgrading of eight low rise blocks of flats in Potong Pase. Now, this is the PAP's cynical strategy to announce upgrading plans just before general election, perhaps in the hope that you will want this upgrading enough to give PAP your vote again. 
Tonight, I ask you to reject this brand of politics. That is a type of politics that knows the price of everything but the value of nothing. It is the politics of populism, not principle. And I ask you to send a message back to the PAP. If you are serious about winning the voters of Potong Pasir, give the residents of Potong Pasir the same upgrading that other constituencies have without strings attached. Win the hearts of the residents of Potong Pasir by hard work and sincerity, not bricks, mortar, carrot and stick. Win the hearts of Potong Pasir the way Mr. Cham did over the years. Today in history, more than any other time, we need Mr. Cham's brand of politics more than ever before. We need more than ever to keep Mr. Cham's flag flying. That is why I joined SPP. And this is the reason why I urge you to vote for Mrs. Lina Cham and the SPP come polling day. I will give you three reasons to vote for Mrs. Chum. First, Mrs. Chum carries the torch of fearlessness. Mrs. Chum never expected to go into politics. Unlike those selected through tea sessions by the PAP, she was not chosen through tests or rounds of interviews. She's not a scholar. She has no military rank or title. <laughs> Until she became NCMP in 2011, she was a homemaker. And Mrs. Chum is proof at how ordinary person can do extraordinary things. When the moment in history called on her, she stood up to the plate, contested in Potong Pasir, and lost by a narrow 114 votes. Vivian Balakrishnan recently said that only the rich or corrupt would work for zero. Well, I've got news for you. Mrs. Cham is standing up for election, not for status or incentive, but out of a sense of duty and public service because she wants to serve you, the people of Potom Pase. In the course of the last four years, Mrs. Chum has more than risen to the occasion. She has spoken up in Parliament 83 times out of 113 sittings. She is the MP who has spoke up the second most number of times in Parliament, more than many other PAP MPs. She is certainly making much better use of taxpayers' money than Mr. Raymond Lim, who has spoke up a grand total of zero times. Yeah. Or Mr. Go Chok Tong, who has spoken up in Parliament once. <laughs> Mrs. Chum has shown that a homemaker can do better than handsomely paid ex-ministers in Parliament. And while the PAP MPs spend all their time having a go at our brothers and sisters in the Workers' Party over our Junic Town Council, Mrs. Chum has continued to serve out her role in Parliament by asking questions and calling the government to account. Just before Parliament adjourned for this GE, Mrs. Chum delivered a speech in Parliament calling the nation's attention to the Auditor General's report, which found 
lapses across various government bodies. That's right, People's Association, that's right. Mrs Chan reminded the government that our taxpayers' money has to be wisely and responsibly spent. Our thank goodness for Mrs Chan's presence in Parliament. I am so proud of what she has done in Parliament these last four years. The second reason to vote for Mrs Lina Chum is because she carries the torch of decorum and respectful political combat. In this election season, we have seen a range of personal attacks being thrown around, name-calling, mud-slinging. Despite being a fighter in Parliament, Mrs Chum has never succumbed to the, to the temptation of crossing the line to indulge in personal attacks. Yes, there's one party and one name that has stayed above the fray, and that is SPP and Mrs Lina Chum. This is the legacy of Mr Chum and Mrs Chum is cut from the same cloth and this is why I look up to her as my leader and mentor. The third reason is good management. In this election, so much has been said about the opposition's ability to run town councils. As far as SPP and Mr Chum is concerned, that is a myth. We have run the town council, Mr. Chum has run the town council successfully without a hitch. Even the PAP will acknowledge that Mr. Chum and his accounts were all in surplus. On top of this, over the last few years, Mrs. Chum has been able to attract credentialed party members from various professional backgrounds to support her to run the Potompase Town Council. I am honoured to be standing next to Mrs. Chum. She is a friend, a mentor, and an inspiration. Above all, I consider, to be, I consider her to be my sister, my tatie, in this political journey we share. As she told the Mountbatten Rally on Sunday, we are both Hakka women. And Hakka women are known to be quite fierce. In Mrs. Cham, I see a fighter with a passion for the people of Potong Pase. She could have declined the NCMP seat and retired from politics, but she stayed on and did not disappoint you. On nomination day, Mr. Cham braved the scorching heat to see his wife speak at the nomination centre. When she spoke, he stood up with great difficulty but with even greater pride. After that, Mr Chum confided in me how proud he was of Mrs Chum and how much he hoped that she would carry on his legacy in Potong Pase. Yeah. Residents of Potong Pase, Rest assured, if you elect Mrs. Chum, you will get an A team from the SPP to keep the Potong Pase spirit alive. Let's keep the flag of Chum Sitong flying. Let the Potong Pate spirit continue to shine proud and bright for all to see. Vote SPP, vote Mrs. Lina Chum. Thank you. Yeah.